Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Odds and sods for brunch this morning. We've recently seen an ad that played during the Super Bowl that is referred to as the halftime ad. It has caused much discussion in this country, much of it focusing on the political dimension of the attempt to sell cars that were made in my hometown of Detroit. Now, first, Mr. Speaker, I must admit that I disagree with the premise of the ad, that it is halftime in America. For logically, we would then have to conclude that the free republic in which we inhabit will expire before its 500th birthday. I refuse to concede that our revolutionary experiment in human freedom has any timeline whatsoever. But what I do wholeheartedly concur with is the fact that American manufacturing, especially our auto industry, is starting to revive and as it does, we'll continue to form a critical engine of any economic recovery we have and will form the basis of ensuring that our American economy leads the world. Yet despite this nascent recovery, we must continue to watch the horizon for any dangers that may loom to our industrial base here at home. One of these is the attempt of our strong ally, Japan, to join the Trans-Pacific Partnership Initiative. Currently, the United States, Brunei, Chile, Malaysia, New Zealand, Peru, Singapore, and Vietnam are trying to ensure the free flow of goods, including automobiles, amongst our nations. Japan wishes to form, wishes to enter into this partnership which is formed. Unfortunately, the time is not right for Japan like communist China, continues to manipulate currency, continues to put up non-tariff trade entry barriers, and until Japan has restructured and reformed itself, their entry into this organization, to this initiative, could only slow the progress and have a detrimental impact upon our manufacturing base. So I would encourage all who understand the importance not just to those of us who were born and bred in what was once known as the arsenal of democracy, to understand the importance of manufacturing. I ask this administration, and I ask all those involved in this initiative to ask Japan to do the right thing before they join us at the table and embark upon a greater period of prosperity for our nations.